Hey folks, I'm Pete and this is Pete's Eats Cooking Videos. Today we're going to make bread. So many people have been asking me for the bread recipe and today is the day. We're going to make white bread. You can form it into loaves. You can form it into baguettes. You can do anything you want with it, but you're going to love it because it's going to be delicious. So let's begin. So here's what you're going to need for the bread. It's really simple. You need flour, yeast, salt, and water. That's it. Now, with respect to the flour, you can buy bread flour, which is called a hard flour, but there's nothing wrong with just regular plain old flour, not pastry flour, just regular white or unbleached flour. The yeast, there's all kinds of yeast. I buy the crushed granules, it's called instant yeast. But there's nothing wrong with the granules. If you get the granules, you should just soften them up in a bit of lukewarm water before you put it into the dough. Salt, use any salt you like, and water, well, wow, water, okay? So I'm gonna show you how to do it right now. So this recipe is gonna make the one nice size loaf. So I'm gonna start by putting about two and a half cups of flour into the bowl. Two and a half. Now I'm gonna add the yeast. It's just granules that have been crushed up. Uh, the yeast is gonna be about a good tablespoon of yeast. I'm going to stir that in. Of course, if you were to uh, use the full granule yeast, you'd have to uh, soften it in, in uh, water first. Now I'm going to add the salt. I'm going to use about a, ta a teaspoon per loaf. So about two teaspoonfuls of salt. One, two. I'm going to mix that in. So that's all roughly, roughly mixed in. So now I'm gonna put in the water, about one cup, maybe a touch more. And it's just cool water, not ice cold, cool water out of the tap. Get it all mixed nicely. And you can see it's kind of coming together into a dough already. So now what I wanna do is, I could knead this right in the bowl, but you see there's some really damp spots there. What I wanna do is uh, turn this out onto the work surface. And before I do that, I want to make sure and get all of the, the spoon cleaned. I don't want to waste any of that dough. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to dump this onto the work surface. And uh, I'm just going to try and see if I can get all of this stuff off the sides. And I'm going to just put this right onto the work surface. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the dough onto itself. I'm going to pick up all of the dry pieces of uh, flour and incorporate it into the dough. That shouldn't take, uh, take too long at all. So it does take a little bit of muscle, but it's very therapeutic. Okay, this dough is a little bit on the dry side. I could have added more water, but it'll be fine. So I'm gonna keep turning it onto itself and pressing down. you know, the dough being a little bit on the dry side, you could add, sprinkle a bit of water in, but it's really tricky with the water because it depends on the flour, how much moisture it has in it, in terms of the humidity of the, uh, the climate that you're working in. Uh, it depends on a whole bunch of things, the actual particular flour that you're using, and so forth and so on. So, uh, you know, don't be worried about it, just play with it, and you can't go wrong. And you should knead the dough for about 10 minutes. Good exercise, better than the gym. So there's the bread, it's been kneaded now for 10 minutes. I'm gonna put it in the bowl and I can cover it with a damp towel, with plastic wrap, or I have this uh, Pyrex lid that goes right on this bowl. So we'll put it on and we're now gonna leave it for about two hours. So this is after about two hours. You can see how nice and bubbly the dough has become. It's beautifully soft and bubbly. This is actually another two loaf batch that I made. So now we're gonna form it into uh, various forms. I'm gonna make a nice baguette and uh, just a, a standard loaf. Okay, I'm gonna turn this out onto the uh, top here with a little bit of flour. Okay, and now I'll just give it a couple of turns. You see how beautiful it is. Okay, a really handy tool to have is a dough scraper. I like this plastic one a lot. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut about half of the dough with the dough scraper. 
And yes, you could use a knife if you want. And now I'm gonna form the baguette. And what I'm gonna do is, you see there's got a nice skin here and here's where I cut it. So I wanna turn all of those uh, cut portions in so that I end up with a nice sort of a round-ish ball. And then I'm gonna turn it onto itself, kind of like a pierogi, and make a nice seam along the edge. And I'm gonna flip it. So I got that seam like a pierogi around the edge. One more time with a little bit of flour. I don't want it sticking to the work surface. So actually I'm gonna do that a little bit there. So I got my sort of pierogi of dough. And now what I'm gonna do is roll it out. So I'm just gonna roll it out with a little bit of flour on the work surface. You don't need tons of flour, but you do need a little bit. So I'm gonna roll and I'm gonna actually kind of try and stretch it out as I roll it, but I'm not gonna force it. Sometimes it doesn't wanna cooperate, it just keeps uh, springing back. So if that happens, just leave it for a couple minutes and you'll see it'll cooperate uh, better then. I'm gonna roll it out. I don't wanna rip that skin. I just want it to roll out nicely. And of course you can roll it out as much as you want. It's kind of gonna double in size in the oven. So you can keep that in mind. You can make it long and thin. You can keep it shorter. It doesn't really matter, whatever you like. After I finish getting this to the size I want, I'm gonna put it on a floured tea towel and leave it again for about an hour and a half or two hours to rise, and then it goes in the oven. So here's the second one. I'm gonna make this into a, a loaf. So you get a loaf a pan, a bread loaf pan, and you butter it, but don't fart around. You really do have to butter it lavishly. You don't want it to stick. Now I'll get a little bit of flour, and I'm gonna just form this like I did into a ball. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you do want that nice, uh, skin on on top no seam on top so I'm gonna drop it into the loaf pan so we've put the dough in here seam side down it's a lavishly buttered pan I'm just gonna press it out so it kind of fills up all the corners of the pan and that's good to go this pan is about just about half filled and that's perfect so what I'm gonna do now is I've got my baguette and I've got the loaf pan I'm gonna cover it and we'll leave it for about an hour and a half to two hours and let it rise. Okay, so you can see the dough in the loaf pan has come up really perfectly. So that's taken about two hours. And over here, I've actually made a couple of loaves and you can see what I do is I separate them with tea towels and I put, uh, uh, I put flour on the tea towels so the dough doesn't stick. So I'm ready to put these in the oven. I'll, I have the oven at about 435, so I'm going to put this one in first at 435, and it's going to be joined by a baguette in a second. So I have an old board here, and what I do is I just flip this off of the, uh, the tea towel, and it's on the board, and I'm going to put this in the oven. This is called a peel, actually. Okay, the oven's preheated, preheated at 435. I've got the dough on the peel, and you can see I've got a tile in there, just a, a regular tile, and I'll put the bread right on the tile. There you go, two beautiful loaves of bread taken out of the oven. Brown, golden brown, gorgeous. It took about 30 minutes baking them at about 430 degrees, and this has cooled down a bit. I'm gonna turn it out now. Oh, that just fell out beautifully. And one little trick is you can tap the bottom. And if it sounds hollow, they say it's ready, but you can tell that's ready. I'd love to see uh, any pictures of your bread, if you try. You can post them on uh, peets.eats.cooking and uh, on my Instagram account. And I'll put that in the bottom bar below. So if you want, copy it. Let's see the bread you guys make. The other thing is, Make sure and keep a piece of that dough before you bake it. Put it in a little baggie and put it in the, uh, in the fridge. And I'm gonna show you what to do with that. You're gonna make fabulous artisan bread with that. So give it about 30 minutes, cut into it, and enjoy.